as one of the famous songs go, Welcome to the Jungle, or in our case the, uh, the Overgrown Orchard, which is also home to some Muscovies and some Thai native chickens as well, some of them cross with bantams. Uh, you can see in here they're not really keeping up with the weeds. Now when we had over a hundred khaki campbells in here and there wasn't a single blade of grass and hardly any weeds at all. There was only about two weeds that the ducks wouldn't eat. Um, but since we got rid of them, because they made absolutely truffle money for us, uh, stuff started to grow back. The, the grass still hasn't reappeared yet. That is something that the Muscovies will eat. But this sort of stuff is coming back. And I only strimmed in here two weeks ago. But you can see it is pretty rampant. So, I was, going to, I was going to strim again, but I thought, well, what the idea in here is, is eventually to, to wood chip the whole area, but it's a long process. You can see over here, I have started, but I, like today I've done about four or five wheelbarrows, um, and it does break down quite quickly. But uh, this is all from the, uh, the, the byproduct from... Um, the food that we bring in the, into the farm for the for the goats. So once it's dried out, I shred it, and then every now and again I bring out a few a few barrel loads in here, which is good because now we've got the heavy rains. Um, we're not walking on bare soil. So it was an absolute marsh before I started doing this. But you see, it's taking quite a lot of wood chips just to get to the, the poultry shed there. In there, I've just started incorporating a deep litter system. So the larger pieces, which we don't put through the shredder, uh, they're all going in there. So while I'm doing all this, I thought, well, the, the, the strimming isn't getting done. I thought, what about if someone could help me uh, just get on top of this um, while I'm doing that and free me up a little bit? And I don't mean the missus, but I have got someone in mind that might just be the ticket. Bear with me. Uh, Blackjack, Roger, Hoover, twins, Dave, Dave, you busy, mate? All right. You fancy giving Uncle Lee a hand, eh? So, most of you will know shitty Dave. Uh, we've had him out in the sun. Someone recommended getting him out in the sun, get him crispy. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's working quite well. Now, young Dave, he is a bit of a lone wolf. What I mean is he hasn't got any mates, so I reckon if I take him into the duck enclosure, um, he might be all right as long as I'm with him. We'll see what he can uh, nibble on, and it'll just give us an idea what, what the goats will fancy eating. Now, we know that they'll have a go at the mango tree leaves um, and the guava trees, um, but it's because it's the middle of the rainy season now, or coming towards the end of it, I don't know, um, we want to do some hard pruning anyway. We probably should have done it a few weeks back. Um, so the lower branches, we're not too bothered if we lose a few, a few leaves or two. So let's get him in there and uh, let him loose. If he just wants a stroke all the time, it might be a bit of a pointless exercise. But let's get him in there. All right, Dave? Dave, it's time to earn your keep, mate. Pay back for all the bloody milk you're drinking. Isn't it? All right, let's get him in there. I've got to pick him up. He's minging, isn't he? Now, young Dave, um, like I say, he's a bit of a loner. Ever since uh, Smiler, his, his sister, twin sister, was killed by a centipede a few weeks ago. So um, he is a bit of a Klingon. Hopefully, I might not have to pick him up and he might follow me all the way there. Dave, you coming, mate? Come on in. Dave. Dave. Right, come on mate, let's get in there. Dave. Dave, come on mate. That's it. Come on in mate. Don't worry, we won't lock you in here on your own. It's a duck mate, you'll be alright. He's in. He's in. What's he going to eat first? Go for the lime treat. 
Not interested. May I lie? Billy, no, mates. Literally, Billy. Oh. Goats don't like being on their own, do they? I think we're going to have to go and get some reinforcements. Now we had to resort to something that sounds absolutely terrible. It was full on kid abduction. So we've got the two twins and Roger, and then uh, their mums Hoover and Blackjack followed. And look at them go. <laughs> Superb. They're going to cane that, I think. We have seen them eating these weeds out in the pasture on the farm. But you never know for sure when you when you give a goat a choice, even if there's something that they like, if there's something that's their, their favourite, that's their favourite, they'll uh, they'll only eat that. Look at old Jackpot trying to get on the booby. He didn't have to take it away that boy. Whereas little Target, he likes his greens. Can you mate? Go on mate, get in there. That's it. Well, I'll just stay with these for a little while and uh, see how we get on. But they've recognised some of the some of their favourite weeds, so it is looking quite hopeful. And come back, I've probably got no leaves left on my uh, guava or mango trees, I bet. Almost half an hour now since we commenced Operation Lee Put Your Feet Up. Uh, the little team are still busy at work in the orchard, so let's go and have a look see how they've been getting on. The ducks couldn't give two hoots about the goats, and uh, likewise, they're absolutely not bothered. I don't even think the goats have seen them. Muscovies, they're a strange old duck. They don't do much. They don't really, for their size, they don't seem to eat much, but we have noticed that they are eating bugs of an evening. So uh, I think we're going to put a black light up for them in their house. The chickens are next to bloody useless. I thought they'd be scratting around everywhere, but it's 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 amazing. If you, if you don't give them pellets, you don't get the eggs. If you give them pellets, they seem to get lazy and don't eat the uh, the weeds and the bugs so much. Right then, here we go. The back end of the orchard bit here that opens out a bit. Blackjack loves this tall weed. It's almost like a a bracken the leaf, and she. They'll take it off about there, or someone like Bullseye or Big Martha, they'll they'll start about there and they'll have the whole lot. And then they'll leave it a few days and then when the new growth comes back, or if you get heavy rains, uh, they'll they'll eat it again then. Even Dave's getting stuck in. I think he's just happy to have some mates for a day. There's little Target. Uh, we've got one guy already inquire about him. And uh, so it looks like he'll be on his way when he's a bit older uh, as a breeding buck. So you might get to use your nuts before you, your days are over, mate. Hoover, cutest co goat in Thailand, is. Well, she's hoovering. Roger, he's happy. And so everyone's pulling their weight, bar one. Son of Bullseye, aka Jackpot. I think he's full of his mum's milk and uh, he's, he's just collapsed now. Probably been drinking on an empty stomach, he's smashed. So, uh, he's hot, taking a break. All we're doing now is we keep going back to the to the goat house that's next to the, to our, the farmhouse. And uh, if we see a goat there, we're going to grab him and bring him here and, and increase the, uh, the army. It's either that or we could round the whole lot up and put them in here but at the moment they're easy to keep an eye on. Uh, to date they haven't had a single leaf off any of the fruit trees or fruits. We've got some we've got lots of limes and I know our goats from time to time have do have limes but they're sliced dried limes. Normally after we've squeezed them we slice them up and dry them. Uh, they don't seem to be bothered about fresh ones and uh, I dare say in the future if, if, if we persist with this once everything gets quite low, they would move on to the fruit trees. But what I'm thinking now is get them in here for a few days, get the weeds down to an okay level, um, and then just, just leave it for a week and then keep on bringing them back in there. So uh, hopefully they, they won't pay any attention to the trees then. But like I said, even if they take an odd leaf or two, it's not the end of the world. They only get the low hanging ones. 
but if you put them in here every day then of course all the low hanging ones would soon get noshed on uh, and then they'll start going up onto their back legs and standing up and um, actually pushing the tree branches over and that's when you get broken branches so we won't go that far that's a sad sight isn't it my old duck house has finally given up so uh, that was my finest carpentry skills but I had, I had a couple of years out of it bloody hundreds of eggs um, and I'm going to recycle the roof there's a little bit of green net in there as well so uh, we'll reclaim that and I'm sure we can use it for something else in the future very rare we uh, we don't recycle stuff here. It might take a year to recycle something, but we certainly stockpile stuff until we can find a use for them. Right, you keep going, Dave. You're doing a grand job, mate. Eh? See, even a lone wolf has his uses, doesn't he, eh? So if you too have an orchard like ours, totally out of control, looks like bloody Jurassic Park, uh, our herd is available for rental very very reasonable day rate uh, just email to and she'll get, she'll give you a price cash of course right um, I need to carry on my deep litter system don't I well we're gonna leave the video there and then but uh, I get bored easy so we're gonna try and get the whole lot in there in one go and uh, let's see how we get on this could go horribly wrong all right sprout bless her she's frisky today uh, so although our body's saying yes, um, we're saying no. We're not. Uh, we're not putting her with bullseye yet. So she's uh, climbing the walls. Let's try and get the rest out. Come on, you lot. You got a job to do. Come on. Boo! Boo! Go to New Paradise. Boo! While we're waiting for the rest of the the herd to come over. This is what I've been using for my deep litter system. I've moved about three quarters of it this morning. Still a fair few wheelbar about another three wheelbarrows to go. Now they know the way out to the front of the house but they don't know the way to the uh, orchard. Come on Milky. Come on girl. Mm, come on Milky. Here she is. So first out the gate is Milky, followed by Gypsy. The beautiful one there is Electra. I'm not going to be able to name them all. Sprout, Frisky Sprout's coming. Wanzi. There's Natasha, PJ, Tequila, Chestnut, Blackhead, Daisy, Lucky, Tattoo, Jingles, Spud, Leo. Clover, Star, Two Socks, and Tattoo. Oi, not this way. If you're impressed how we can remember the name of 58 goats, it's quite simple, but we're not telling you our, uh, our secret. Yeah. <laughs> oh, making a break for freedom. Right, I've got to open the gate. I predict we're going to have goats going everywhere in about one minute. No, 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 no. Come on, you no. lot. Oh, we've got a, we've got an orchard break. Oh, might have known Shitty Dave would be out. Oh! Yay! They've all gone in and you've come out, mate. <laughs> it's almost as if we're as one with the goats. They're going crazy. Let's shut the gate. It's like giving free drugs to a smackhead, this is. They're going crazy. Look at them, all excited. Now, the thing about goats, when you let them into a new area, although there's loads to eat, they just run around, take one bite and run somewhere else. And then the one behind overtakes the other ones thinking, oh my God, if it's good here, what's it like round the corner? Oh, the ducks are off, they've seen enough. It's good, isn't it, Star, eh? It's good. 
stop eating my palms, wouldn't it? They're skinny lucky. Dave's a bit mistaken. He just thinks he's got about 25 mates now. But it's not the case, mate. There's young Cleo there. Short for Cleopatra. You can see her face on. She looks Egyptian. This one's Jingles. If you see under her neck, she's got two neck nads dangling down. And they're both topped off with white tips. So uh, Jingle Bells sprung to mind. I know who that is. Jesus, mate. I'm glad you're the one we're selling. A bloody foghorn. Eh? But you do eat well, not like your, your brother. That's the point. I can't see Jackpot. Is he still asleep? Stealing and living, that boy. Eh? Jackpot's bed is empty. He could be anywhere in here. He's probably sleeping with the ducks. That's the thing when you first get goats and uh, you have your first lot of kids, you're absolutely paranoid that they've got carried off by an eagle or a snake's grabbed hold of them. And half the time they're just knackered and they're, they're sitting down or getting in the shade or they've found something to play with. The amount of times I've been pulling the last few of my grey hairs out trying to find kids and they're never more than a few yards away from you. It sends their mums crazy sometimes. There's Natasha, hey, lovely girl, isn't ya? There's Leo in there. That is some serious eating going on in there. Roger, have you seen Jackpot anywhere, mate? <laughs> Whatever. Now we have got some low-hanging custard apple. Well, Nina, as they're known over here. And uh, they're just about ready to pick. They're not super soft. You, do, you pick them a day before, they're super soft. And uh, incredibly sweet fruit. Um, but they don't seem interested as of yet. I think we'll be all right. There's so much for them to eat that we know they like. Same as before, we've seen them just having a sniff of the leaves on the lower hanging branches of the mango trees. But um, no, they're not even... Not even took a bite out of them, which is strange. Really got to get in here and, and do our pruning. That's one of the reasons I wanted to, to come in here and strim again. It's good. We've got the ground covered. It took ages and ages after we got rid of the ducks out of here. The compaction was incredible. Uh, you think I, about, I think we, we had a, just over 120 odd ducks. Uh, at one point we had about 50 chickens as well. And it was like concrete in here, and then the odd time it did rain, then the water couldn't soak in. So we just let the weeds grow, and uh, if I can pull one out, you'll see how wiry the initial weeds, the sort of like pioneer weeds are. Really, really wiry. And uh, these grow a lot, lot deeper. So uh, that will alleviate compaction eventually, or help to. And of course, it's giving a little bit of shade. As we chop and drop these or get the goats in here, they actually chop and drop for you. They don't eat everything that they bite off. And uh, of course, they're tilling it in as well with their feet while the ground's soft. And they're pooping as they go. So after that, we should just get a little bit of grass come back. And uh, we're off and running again. If it doesn't, then uh, we'll wood chip the whole lot. But it'll probably take me about 10 years to get enough wood chips. But I quite like this, using the animals. Gives me someone to talk to as well while I'm working. Over at the back there is a stunning young doe. The dark brown shiny one. I called her Tattoo because she's got like a, a black tattoo effect on the back of her neck. And uh, She's beautiful. She really is a stunning goat. And we think her sister is the one that looks similar to her there. Similar build as well. We called her two socks because she's got two white legs at the front. And boy, can that goat jump. Jesus, well, they both can. It's like Olympic high jump champions. When it's shot time, you, both times that we've caught them, we've caught them in midair. So, uh, and, and they're not sort of like jumping at waist height. They're jumping at about head height. 
I'm not looking forward to trying to catch them when I'm another five years old if they're still with us. Hopefully they'll slow down a bit and get fat. There's Hooter, she looks like a mini Hoover. But if you look on her nose, that's what inspired her name. I suppose if she had big boobies we'd call her Hooters. But uh, no, it's Hooter. There's Leo again. So we're just really trying to build up some bonds with them. Um, I think the two friendliest ones to date are um, Milky and Gypsy. Well, Milky was never friendly with me for the first couple of weeks until she got her head stuck somewhere. And uh, I basically freed her, saved her life. She thought I saved her life. And since then, we've been best pals. But Gypsy's always been friendly. <laughs> Off the go again, look at that. And this is why I've changed my opinion of goats. People say that they're really, really intelligent. They're not, they're just silly. They're silly and sneaky. Well, still not found Jackpot yet. He's in here somewhere. Probably just sleeping his hangover off. Um, but I can't stay out here any longer. It's so hot, my head's leaking. So, uh, from me and shitty Dave, we'll see you again soon, aren't we, Dave? Hey? Keep noshing, mate.